Today, I'm starting a new type of rebuild, which I have been so excited for since the idea came into my head. I have created Profit FC. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell does Profit FC mean? Well, this is a club that I've just created, which you can see has the nice green and white in it, kind of signifying the whole dollar sign thing. I have created this club because I am about to go ahead and give myself the challenge of building youth academy talent to an incredible level to then sell them all for over a billion. Yes, I'm setting myself the target of going ahead and building a youth academy of players who I can then sell on for 1 billion. And from that point on, it's time to go crazy with that budget and buy the best players in the world. But the biggest goal, of course, is going to be having this youth academy work out for us. Initially starting off, we have absolutely no players in here and we are starting off in League 2. Guys, trust me, this is going to be a wild ride. Let's have a bunch of fun and try and build up some young talents big time so we can cash in for Profit FC. Right now, the highest overall rating in our team is a 64 and that is uh, stretched across two centre-back positions right now. And that clearly tells us that we can utilize the Youth Academy to bring in a bunch of talent. So now I'm going to start off with the best scout right here. Egir Andersen from Iceland. I have been to Iceland and what a beautiful country. But you, my friend, better bring me a bunch of amazing talent I can sell for a bunch of money later on. First of all, I want to start off by sending my scout to Argentina. Argentina and Brazil are still the most valued youth academy countries you can send your players to, at least from what I know at the moment, the information I can find in the internet. So I'm going to start off with looking for a goalkeeper. Yes, we do need one. And Argentina is the one I've chosen because I was very impressed by what Emi Martinez has done against Manchester. The city, specifically that double save against Erling Haaland. As we go through this video, though, what do you think of Manchester City? They have not been getting the best results lately. A lot of people have them as their favorites to win the title, but could it be the season where they actually don't pull it off and teams like Arsenal, Liverpool, and potentially others? Go for it. Because I am all about profit, I'm going to go through this and do the right decisions in every single position I can make. At least I'm trying. So what I've done initially as I started off this uh, rebuild or this youth academy career mode is I focused on defense. I have improved my goalkeeping uh, coaches to a very, very high level right here, as you can tell. I've taken my defense to 9 and 9 there at 2, so I will initially focus on getting goalkeepers and defenders in order to immediately get the best out of them in the development plans and grow them. That way, we're going to increase their value as fast as possible. As we go through those two positions, I will obviously go ahead and get myself another midfield coach as well. Now, I do actually have a 5-star Oh, I don't need these two. So let me release that. So that wasn't actually smart. Maybe I have a midfield one for four stars or maybe five. I'll wait for that to happen. But the ideal number is five. So I'll keep it at five for now. Nine and nine is fine. And then we'll go for midfield. And as we get the midfield to ideal, I will obviously get myself the new position sorted in the Youth Academy search as well. Now, having said that, first scout report is in. Come on now, Iceland. Don't disappoint. Alberto Ferreira, ATK. That's not a cheap. 650k but he's 15 oh come on man he's at least six foot four at 15 this guy's a big lad but let's sign him up and then we have 180k right here and 300k right there for a six foot tall goalkeeper the other one would have genuinely been the one that i would have wanted in a team but there is a thing that enables me to play a 15 year old as well i can technically go ahead and sign him up already and the first talent of the Youth Academy comes in at a 58 rating, which is actually higher than our current starting goalkeeper's rating. Month two, you got something for me? Come on. 350. Oh, 1.1 million. Pedro Ribe, 17 years old, six foot four tall, and he doesn't have very high potential, but that's okay. We can work with that. Let me see that right now. He comes in at a 65. Yes. This 
Man, he's gonna make us a lot of money moving forward. I am so excited, buddy. You don't even know what's in store for you. Now I can focus on bringing in defenders. Up next, another OP suggestion for you guys. When you go into Central Europe and you look for defensive minded, you will probably get some amazing players. So I'm gonna start off with that which could provide us with technically CDMs, center backs, left back, right back, all that good stuff. Last month of the scout report, looking for defensive minded players. And guys, we are looking at some terrible ones right here. I'm looking for high value because even if they don't make it into the starting 11 for us, these players could be valuable down the line to sell on, right? So we will have to loan them out. Timo Fischer, 325k. I guess I'll take that. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Jakob Zuma, 275. His rating seems quite clear. He's probably around the 58 with okay potential. I'll take that on. Anton Schmidt, 240k. No thanks. Have I missed anything here? No, not yet. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's actually all right. I'm going to sign him anyways. And we're going to take a look at these players in a second. Jonas Schumacher, 575. What a name. Schumacher. Yes, I love that. That is amazing, lads. Anyone else want to be part of this? 325? Yep, that seems to be the threshold I'm looking at right now to sign anyone. And uh, so far, so good, my friends. So we have found a couple of really decent ones. And we are done with the defensive-minded ones. And there is one more player I haven't shown you. And his name is Vincent Friedrich. He is 58 rated as he comes in. And Schumacher is a left back. Friedrich is a right back. That is perfect. Both of these guys can go straight into the starting 11 of our team. And that is um, that also means that they will be profiting off of the defensive coaches that we have. And that's huge. So we have found a goalkeeper and we have found two fullbacks. Now I think I need to look for center backs until the end of the season. Lads, we have three months worth of scouting in France for center backs coming in right here. Antoine Dubois, 15 year old, one 1.1 million. Now, he is the standout talent I've found, but I'm going to sign every single one of these lads, which some of them are worth above 500k. I believe at least two of them are, but it is very important for us to bring in as many Youth Academy talents as possible. If they have any sort of potential, they need to be here. So, right now we are seeing Dubois is 64 rated. That is amazing. We also found Perrin, who is a right back, 61 rated, which is higher rating, a higher rating than the one that we have right now. Now, they are very young, so we're going to have to wait for these guys to come into the squad. I could turn on the feature to bring in 15 year olds, but I'm not going to do that because you guys at home can't do that as well. So I'm going to try and keep it as possible for you to replicate as possible here. But this guy is 17 years old. 60 rated, not the highest potential, but if Elias Daniel does well, he could actually grow into an amazing player. So I will be signing him as one of the lads that have just come in. Looking at the rest, Aron and Bertrand, they are not looking too good. But uh, oh, CDM, Alexandre Mas. That could be quite useful. You know, these ones are the ones that make a difference. So I'm going to keep all these lads and. Uh, we are done with looking for center backs. The season is finished. I've scouted for a CDM physically strong in Ghana for three months. And this is the only one I've found. Mabempa Johnson, 17 years old, 61 rated, which is perfect. He will come into our team at the beginning of next season, okay? Not right now because the season's over anyways. So right now, when it comes to our players, we have the goalkeeper who has gone up to a 69. We have Schumacher on a 61. Friedrich on a 61. Mas has taken over the CDM position with a 57. And then that position will be taken over from the man from Ghana next season. But I assume that this team hasn't necessarily done too well in the league. Yep. Gimme money is the club. <laughs> Profit FC is currently in the 18th position. At least we are not all the way down, so I'm okay with that. But there's no reason to really look too far into the stats right here. I'm just gonna quickly show it to you guys. But clearly, we are in heavy need of midfielders, especially attack and attackers in the upcoming season. So let's get working on that as we have sorted out the defense, it seems. And also, we need to take a look at the players in the youth academy. Dubois, 15 years old, 65 rated. Perrin, or Perrin, is on a 62. Campos, backup goalkeeper, 61. Johnson is going to come in, and then the rest of these lads could be quite useful 
especially the ones with higher potential like Bertrand, for example, I will definitely send out on loan next season. In this new season, I've scouted for three months in South Korea because apparently looking for wingers in South Korea is the way to go. And Yon Jim Kim is the best one I've found for 925k in his value. These other ones are going to be signed as well as backups or potential just players I can move on for big money down the line. And obviously, that's not just it. If we go into my youth academy, which I'm struggling to find, it seems. Here we go. I have a bunch of players I rated enough that can move into the team. So Perrin right here is 63 rated right now. I feel like he would be higher rated as a center back. And he is. There we go. So he can go on into the team and take over the center back position because Dubois is still 15. I feel like this guy has been 15 for two years now. But uh, this guy is going to come in immediately into the squad. While others like Campos need to come in too because we need to send these guys out, guys out on loan. And Yonjin Kim is a left wing 62 rated. Perfect legitimately the perfect player I was looking for right here because I wanted a left wing to come in and take over that position and he is going to be my Hyung Min Son basically promoted into the senior team and with that let me show you how our team is going to be looking starting off into this new season so here he is Kim 62 rated and straight away into the left wing position and then Daniel is going to keep his spot but Smith is going to be dropped from the team Perrin coming in with five-star weak foot. We have a five-star weak foot and Daniel as well. Two very capable French centre-backs. As we all know, French centre-backs. Oops, wrong screen. French centre-backs are the best. I've also just realised that this Peters guy is not the one I should be using. We have another winger in Tang. Song So Tang. He's only two ratings below and he has higher potential, I reckon. So he's going to be coming into the team right now. And we actually have found ourselves two wingers. I can go straight into the starting 11. While one of them is obviously way higher rated, the other one has a long way to go, just like many other players in the team though, so it shouldn't be an issue. The path to success this season was clear for me. I needed to find a striker, and for that, I've gone to Brazil. I'm trying to find the next R9 Ronaldo, the next Hendrick, so to say, and here we go. Hugo Ferreira, 475k from Brazil, signed. Alex Moreira, and this is after three months of scouting, by the way. He is also going to be signed due to his high potential. Could be someone that we can sell on for a lot later on. But this is the one. Rafael Correa. 5'9", 1.8 million in value. This is the one, lads. I'm so excited about him. And Diogo Ramos doesn't look bad at all either. But that guy is going to be the number one player in our team when it comes to that striking position. I cannot tell you how excited I am. And Dubois is finally ready. Let's go, buddy. He comes into the main team as well. A bunch of these guys, as you can tell, are going to be important for us. But Correa comes in with a 66 rating, 17 years old. And as you can see here, he has pink shoes. Do we need anything else? I've sent my scout on a three-month vacation in Portugal. And he has found a couple of great talents. Now, again signing every single one of them but this one Alfonso Castro 825k let's go and we also have another one with 550 Thiago Duarte with 550 but this is the one Joao Martins 1 million in value he is a right winger though I didn't expect that I was kind of hoping for a cam so maybe we actually get two players here that could be useful Danny Duarte also 875k so I sent him out there to look for center attacking midfielders because clearly the only position that we are right now lacking is that position where Drake is playing instead of going ahead and making music. But we're going to go ahead and take a look into the Youth Academy right now and see what these guys can bring to the table. Duarte, center attacking mid, 61 rated. Yes, high potential, long hair. Love it. He comes in at 5'8". We will be signing this man for sure. And it only takes him four weeks to grow to a 62. That's good. Moreira could be an amazing backup. He's 18 already. So I'm going to definitely bring him into the main team. Castro is 60 rated with higher potential. Okay, so I'm thinking Moreira goes onto the bench. Castro goes out on loan. That's the way I'm going to run it. Because I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. And I never really look into the into the play styles of these players. I thought we could look into that there. But anyways, that's we have found a bunch of them right here that could be quite useful. 
and we can move forward knowing that Joao Martins is 60 freaking 3 rated. So that means he can go into the main team as well, take over the right wing position from the lad that we had over there. And then we're going to take over Duarte into the team as well. And let's just quickly take a look at it, how that would look like. So Drake can go back to making music. We will have Duarte in there and Martins takes over the right wing position because he's just higher rated. That's it is sorted out. That is our team for now. Not many big changes expected. We have a bunch of talents that we can recruit from the Youth Academy, loan out all across the world, and then make the big bucks. The season's over, and I am very proud of our Youth Academy talents because Profit FC, imagine an actual team being named that, is in the third position with 76 points, guaranteeing us the promotion into League One. We're going up alongside MK Dons and Burton Albion. So... Let me show you the team that has done it. We have Kim on a 66, Correa on a 68, Martins on a 64, Duarte 64, CDMs, both of them above the 63 rating. Defensively, we are looking very, very solid, but I do believe Perin is not playing and Daniel has taken over that position. So that's something to look out for. Friedrich on a 67 too, and our goalkeeper is flying. He was the first player that we brought in. He's the captain of this team, as we can tell. And I just wanted to check the playstyles on some of these players. I mean, does anyone have a playstyle plus as they come in? No, not a single one of them, but that's okay. I'm happy with the playstyles they have. And I also want to double check right here. Has the Brazilian striker done well? No, he hasn't. Um, what? Why is Davies playing? Why? I guess Correa has only recently taken over. Okay, I need to get rid of Davies and I'm going to keep Naylor as a backup or not. I'm actually going to move him on, but in 18 games, 10 goal contributions from Rafael Correa. That's a good start to his career at this club. Profit FC, 83 points. Not enough on the goal difference to get that second position, but enough to go through the playoffs and get it done. Yes, Barnsley has been beaten and we're getting closer and closer to profit because obviously we are building up these players to sell them on later on for one billion. That is what I'm looking for and potentially more than that. And I love the fact that Correa has now gone up to a 73. The highest rating is our goalkeeper with an 80. Clearly the best player in the team which is amazing to see. And I assume Perin has started playing as my right back because why the hell is Friedrich not getting the play time or he might have been injured. But looking at all that, I'm just amazed. The Youth Academy right now is empty because I have gone ahead and loaned out a bunch of the players. As you guys can tell, I brought them all up. I loaned them all out to make sure that we get the best out of this team moving forward to make that money, money. And the best performer this season clearly has to be the striker, right? Yes. Correa, 19 and 4. Kim, 17 and 5. Martins, 12 and 4. Duarte, 8 and 3. That's, we are building something special right here. And it is going into the right direction. And right now, the direction is championship football. I don't think we're going to get promotion in there, but at least the top 10 finish. I'd be very happy. Well, maybe top 10 was a little bit too ambitious because our team has now finished in 15th. Profit FC, you gotta be doing better. 62 points. And honestly, just a few more could have gotten us into the eighth position. So should I be upset? Probably not. But Everton, 116 points. Bournemouth coming up with the 95. They are going back up into the Premier League, but that's just a pipe dream for us. Right now, I gotta tell you something. And that is the fact that I turned a center midfielder that I had in the youth academy named Rodriguez into a cam. He went from a 59 to a 62 at the time. It looks like he just kept on growing and he actually caught up to Duarte. So now I'm in a situation where Duarte is not getting as much playtime and this Rodriguez kid has been taking that playtime away from him. Both are 72 rated. They are fighting for that position, which I actually appreciate. So Looking at the team, lowest rating in attack, 73. Lowest in midfield, 72. Lowest in defense is a 74 on Friedrich, who was unhappy last season, but now seems okay. And the highest rated player in all of our side, the captain of the team, Uribe, on an 84. So, having seen all that, real quick, stats of the season. 16 on Kim, 14 on Correa, and 9 on Martins. Front three scoring well, that's good. 
And by the way, I do realize that my kits look like the one from Celtic. I get it. But um, real quick, let's just dive into one last thing. And that is the loaned players. We have gotten some of the players back now, I assume. Yes, Campos has come back. Adrian Campos, exciting prospect as a goalkeeper, but he's only going to be a backup for us. Or I can loan him out again and then cash in on him next season. That's something I'm going to think about for sure. Um, but then we're looking at the likes of Castro, who has gone up to a 71. He could be competing for that camp position too. Duarte up to a 69. Yeah, Ferreira and all these guys who have been loaned out growing. It was the right decision to do so. Next season, I need to keep that up. So... Let's get to that next season and maybe fight for promotion. In the regular season, Profit FC has gotten 77 points this time around. And listen close as to what happens this year because it is a crazy story. So we came in fifth, right? Brentford and Wolves go up, get back into the Premier League. Congratulations. We play through the playoffs. And my friends, we beat the likes of Coventry City. And then we beat Watford, which means we are now a Premier League club. But that is not where this story ends, because this story is crazy. So looking at round five of the FA Cup, you see us beating Plymouth Argyle. Round six, we beat Luton Town, a Premier League club, right? Or might be in the championship by now. Semi-finals, we beat Sheffield United. And in the final, we beat West Ham. We have had a season that has just gotten us promotion into the Premier League through playoffs and we have won the FA Cup, which means as we go up into the Premier League, this team is going to be playing Europa League football. Yes, that is what is going to happen. I cannot believe that, honestly. It is insane to see the growth in this team. I absolutely love the fact that Rodriguez came out of nowhere and earned that position. I love that both of our CDMs are now around the same rating. I like the fact that all of our defenders are above the 80 and our goalkeeper is the captain and leader of this squad with an 88 rating, making 79 the lowest rating of the squad as we get into the Premier League. So, Korea, 32 and 5. Kim, 22 and 7. Martins, 13 and 5. 8 plus 8 in growth. What the hell happened to him? <laughs> the guy's on fire. What the hell, bro? That, I think the highest I ever had was like a plus 9 in a season. That is a very, very good season for Martins. Insane stuff. And I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know what to say. How did this team get narrowly promotion right just about getting promotion through playoffs but won the fa cup it makes no sense but i love it my friends here we are in the fa cup final again yes this team is going back to back in the fa cup finals and after that i'll show you what this squad has been capable to pull off this season as well but this is our opponent tottenham coming in with a good team and I'm ready to smack it up. Here we go. Please, please, lads. You can do this. You have the ratings. You have the best goalkeeper in the world, seemingly. Win it! No! Oh, man. With a better team this season, we couldn't do it. But I guess we came up against a stronger opponent this time than West Ham. But, guys, this is exactly what I was kind of hoping for. I was thinking maybe this team can go on and get things done for us. And, hey... It is working out so far, but let's move across into a more specific thing here. And that is the league itself. Where did we finish? Eighth position. Okay, 58 points. Manchester City on 85. That is the position we want to get to with this team, ideally at some point. But also, now we need to think about the prices of the players, right? So Kim, 88 rated. Correa, 89. Martins, 87. Rodriguez is still the lowest rated player alongside Daniel here. But all these players are high rated enough to get to like next season, get to a price where potentially we could be looking at a value over 1 billion. Yes, I am slowly reaching my target. And let's take a look. Korea, best player. Kim and Martin supporting there. But this is more important now. Now everything switches up, okay? We have built up these players. We have one, two, three, four players worth more than 100 million. I guess in total, I could probably get like 
maybe even up to 600 million for these players if I sold them now. But what my goal is, I obviously want to get every single player to as high an evaluation as I possibly can. So to do that, we need to keep going. We're not there yet. We have that target ahead of us, but it hasn't happened. So let's stay focused and try our best right here to get this team to 1 billion. Lads, look at this. We are in the fourth position. Yes, we get ourselves Champions League football, which is nice now. I'm obviously not necessarily desiring to win everything with this team yet. I mean, it's okay that we're getting into these positions and getting the cash because I do need to get these players new contracts constantly and they are so high rated. It is going to be tough to not give them insane contracts that cost me insane money. So... To be able to do so, getting Champions League football is great. Rodriguez with the 86 is the lowest rated player in the team. But the starting 11 is absolutely ridiculous right now. Our goalkeeper is on a 94 and the players on the bench are very good. Because all these guys have been built up in the, um, what's it called? In uh, loan sessions for themselves, basically. So I'm really, really happy to see all these guys do so well and help us out now. And then if we look at the squad, top scorer, Correa kim martins the front three are still doing an incredible job and i absolutely love it and rodriguez had a good season too to be fair oh and most importantly are we up there now 216 let's say 400 let's say 600 right there no not 600 700 we have 800 million oh mate we're there we're there already but i'm gonna run one more season guess what my friends Champions League final. Yes, that is where we are against Manchester City. And we finally have a player higher rated than our goalkeeper, Correa the striker. All right, show me what you got then, Correa. 3-2 victory. We have won the Champions League with youth academy players only. Martin Schumacher and Dubois, the one scoring. Two defenders have gotten us goals there. But guys, this is is the reason why I didn't jump into the game. I am about to sell all these guys. We have built an extreme dynasty of players here, right? And they are ridiculously high rated. Take a look at them for the last time. 94 rated Kim, 96 rated Correa, Martins on a 93, Rodriguez on a 90, Johnson 91, Mas 90, Schumacher 91, Dubois 91, everyone except Friedrich. Are you ruining it? <laughs> Anyways, everyone is above the 90. And I want to see the value of these players right now. It's more important than the stats. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we have done it. We probably have 1.5 billion in all these players right here, guys. Especially once I can ask for more money than they're actually worth. I am about to go crazy in the transfer market and pull off one of the biggest changes of all time. Everyone is gone. Korea, Martins, Kim, every single one. Thank you for everything you have done. Thank you for carrying us to our first Champions League title. But you haven't won the league. Third in the league. I'm going to buy everyone. <laughs> Let's do this. It's done. I sold a bunch of them. And the profit, as you can see right there, transfers 1.72 billion. Not just 1 billion. 1.72 guys i'm about to go crazy on the transfer market and buy a whole entire new starting 11 and show them all at the same time to you in a second and there he is the last man to walk through the door i have spent so much money i've only kept two players from the original team which are the fullbacks guys i've created the nuttiest team you can go for when you are playing career mode this is it. Josko Guardiol joins, and with that, we have Haaland up top. We have Vinny Jr. on the left, Mbappe on the right, Musiala as a cam, Pedri and Zahir Emery as the centre midfielders, Schumacher and Friedrich have survived, Saliba, Guardiol, Costa. That is an insane team. And lads, now we're going to play one game with this team. I'm actually so glad it worked out in the first season because these players are old and they won the Premier League. Yes, well done. And they have gone ahead and won the FA Cup, which means the Champions League final is here. Yes, against AC Milan, guys. Now we can take them on to finish this project. I'm very excited that we have pulled it off and the team is looking like this. 
It looks ridiculous, doesn't it? I actually can't wait to use all these players because normally I never buy these guys. I always buy the hidden gems and everything. So finally, some mainstream lads to destroy people with. It all begins right here, right now. Last season, we won this title already with the Youth Academy Boys, which was already a massive achievement. Now we got to do it again. After making sales over 1.7 billion, we were able to bring in all these incredible players. I am excited to see if they can go ahead and smash our opponents very easily or if it actually turns out to be a tough game. Nice one. Some of our Youth Academy players obviously still here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was not supposed to happen. There we go. Whew. That was very close, but I'll take it. Down the left. Go on, Schumacher's pass into Musiala. Jamal Musiala. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Someone should fire me right now as the coach of this team. Wow, I have all the highest rated players in the game and no one can take a free kick. Are you freaking kidding me? Is this going to be freaking Mbappe taking this? Oh, hits the crossbar though. Vinicius Jr. Haaland in the middle. Haaland! <laughs> Shumi. Yes, Shumi. Let's go. Jamal. Good attempt. Haaland. Sending Mbappe on a run. Mbappe. Mbappe still. Mbappe, mate. Everyone going for a freaking bicycle kick. Oh, no. Rafaleo. It's 1-0. Okay. All these world stars. But we couldn't see the first goal. After having all the chances... I'm actually upset. Let's deal, Zaire. Yes. Haaland on the run. It is him getting the ball under control. Erling Haaland. The comeback has begun. 1-1, 54th minute. Zaire Emery, big steal. Haaland now sprinting away. Has Mbappe making a run. Mbappe, nice. Jamal, Haaland. Love it. Pedri. 60th minute. These lads have just woken up. It took them a little bit longer. But now AC Milan is not leading anymore. Just covering the right spot, I thought. Schumacher, what are we doing? Oh my god. Costa, thank you for grabbing that. Schumacher, he's my favorite player, by the way. My absolute favorite out of this team. He could get himself an assist right here. Between all the stars in the world, it is Schumacher who I like the most. Are you kidding? Please, ref. Thank you. Back to back world champion. Not world champions. Champions League winners. World champions. Who's the captain to lift the trophy, actually? I didn't pay attention. It is going to be Saliba, a player I watched for years now. Before his now incredible time at Arsenal, he was so good at Marseille. And now he lifts the trophy. But between all these stars that you see on the pitch and in our team, my favorite was the left back Schumacher. He was clearly the best out of any of the players I have here. So shout out to the Youth Academy still. I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild, a different type one. And I had a ton of fun, man. Take care and peace.